It was the 1980s. I decided that I had had enough of the English weather and that I was going to get down to the Mediterranean. So I decided to get on a plane and head to the south coast of Spain. Well, amongst the beautiful buildings and beautiful promenades, I tell you, the wine was divine and the entertainment was spectacular. However, what was to come, I was not expecting. ¿Dónde vive, señorita? Uh, no comprendo. No hablo las, los español. Uh, you speak English? Yes. Ah, you're a long way from England. What brings you here? The sun is very shining. The dates are growing from the trees. The olives are growing from the trees, the lemons, the oranges. I just can't think of a better place to be, really. Do you understand? Yes. You know, I have a place in the mountains. Really beautiful. There are many orange trees and lemon trees. Beautiful rocks. I want to take you there. Will you come with me? this something. We had so much fun together. Well, we like to get wasted every once in a while. And he just had this certain charm. <laughs> You're just so awesome. So at that point, I knew I had to tell Pedro. I took Pedro to one of our favorite restaurants and we had two of our favorite drinks. And then I knew I had to tell him. I said, Pedro, I am so sorry, but I've fallen in love with another man. He's a rock climber. <laughs> Why 
one of the great things about this crag is that it's pretty steep and it's pretty long so the difficulty tends to be um, not from really small holes but just from getting very tired it's a bit like doing long distance running across the beach you uh, don't get to the end because you feel trashed <laughs> yeah <laughs>